It was back to school today in Pasco County where three new schools opened to ease overcrowding. One of them is a high school with the feel of a college campus. Eric Waxler has the story. Good morning, 5A High School. Welcome to the 2010-11 school year. We are so excited to have you guys here on campus uh, today for the start of our Falcons' first flight. It's the $49 million crown jewel of Pasco County's school system. But 5A High School in Hudson is just plain overwhelming for some students. I'm scared. <laughs> it's like I'm going to get like, lost or something. I'm just going to wing it. It's going here today, and this one's going to Day Spring Academy. It's both my babies. Kem Minus isn't a baby, but he is a freshman at 5A. So big, like... It's, it's amazing. And he's on his own right the only, now. The only scary part is that my best friend is on a cruise for the first week of school. So it's not my best friend. Oh, he's not going to be here, huh? Instead of congested hallways, this school features a brick-lined courtyard. There are top-of-the-line computers everywhere you look and an impressive culinary department to train future top chefs. Want to be an EMT? They've got the tools. And there's even a coffee bar in the library. 5A seems to have it all, but other spots in Pasco County shouldn't expect the same amenities in the near future. This will be the county's last new high school for at least five years. Superintendent Heather Fiorentino says the building boom is over. Instead, they'll have to make the best of what they have. This year, we're going to be looking at the east side, doing rezoning over there, all the schools over there, and then trying to make sure that we're filling every school to capacity and working through that. Um, and we also have portables if we need to because of class size. The school is so new, even the trophy case is empty, but there'll be plenty of time to fill it up in the years ahead. In Hudson, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.